So the Baltimore Ravens had a very interesting offseason. This team had a very interesting situation with Lamar Jackson, him requesting a trade. Did they want to extend him? Did they want to give him his money up front? Well, now he's the highest paid quarterback in football. While that is a good thing for Lamar Jackson and his camp, and it seems like it's a good thing with the Baltimore Ravens, let's get into the negatives and the positives of paying Lamar Jackson and why I'm a huge fan of this move and also what they did in the NFL draft. The Baltimore Ravens are extending their quarterback long term. He got his money. He got paid. I love to see people get paid. That's general, that is generational wealth of money. But Lamar Jackson has dealt with injuries the last two seasons. A lot of that because of the office assistant that he was in on the Greg Roman. Well, Greg Roman is no longer the office coordinator for this team. You're bringing in a brand new office coordinator. Hopefully, the passing concepts are better. I believe that when you look at the Baltimore Ravens team, they have a lot of good weapons right now around Lamar Jackson. They had always had a good tight end in Mark Andrews. He's a top three tight end in the NFL. He can block. He can do the receiving game for you. He can do it all for you. He will cons consistently be the number one target on this team. But they also have other weapons as well. When you look across this Baltimore Ravens team, they have Odell Beckham. He's dealt with injuries in the past, coming off a torn ACL. He took all last year to recover from that. So you hope for this upcoming season, there's no excuses. He should be ready to play week one. And he should be a wide receiver that gives you immediate production. Rashad Bateman, last two seasons, he's been good when he's on the field, has been able to stay healthy. And that's the biggest thing in this Ravens team. They have a lot of good players when they are on the field. Lamar Jackson is all world. When he is on the football field, the Baltimore Ravens are always a very tough team and a very tough out in the NFL. And they're always a very good football team. There's no if and buts about that. Lamar Jackson, when he's playing, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, and he can get you over the hump. It's my opinion. But at the same time, those turnovers have crept up in the last two years. He hasn't been able to finish the season the last two years. Now, I said the offensive play calling came down to that, so he's taking a lot of contact in the open field and with that rushing style. I believe now that you put these weapons around him, you can dial back on that. You can still run Lamar Jackson that read option system, but save those legs for the playoff times. Let him beat teams with his arm, and he's been capable of doing that before. You can still use him inside and outside the pocket behind the line of scrimmage, but do not let him take those big hits in open field anymore. He's also a guy that likes to get out of bounds, but he should not be taking those contacts over and over again with the weapons that they have around him now, if they can stay healthy. Same with Zay Flowers. It's the guy that they got in the first round. They spent their first round picking this kid. A lot of people compare him to Steve Smith Sr. Oddly enough, Steve Smith Sr. was a beast with the Ravens after his stint with the Carolina Panthers ended. Lee Zay Flowers will be a guy that can scratch the field, get tough, aggressive yards for you. He's going to be a very good wide receiver for Lamar Jackson. This entire offseason was to make Lamar Jackson happy. This is a Baltimore Ravens team that is not just expecting a deep playoff run. They want to see a Super Bowl type of season from Lamar Jackson. He's been a league MVP, MVP before. When he's on the field, he's great. But the Baltimore Ravens have to keep these guys healthy. Same goes for the defense. A couple of years ago, the entire secondary was wiped out in training camp. Can't allow that to be happening anymore. I know in certain situations you can't help injuries, but let's just lessen up on the snaps in practice or something to get these guys ready by week one. Because on paper, the Ravens are a scary football team. And Lamar Jackson has beaten quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes before, like Justin Herbert before. So he could beat the best quarterbacks in the NFL. It just calms down to what's around him. This defense last season left a lot to be desired. They were up big on teams early in the season, such as the Miami Dolphins. But the bad thing about that was their defense folded in the second half. The miscommunications have got to stop. As the season progressed, the defense did get better. Kyle Hamilton would be extremely valuable, and his play has to be very good for this team moving forward. He's a safety that they selected in last year's draft. He's a beast. He's long, he's rangy, and he's athletic. He can cover up those tight ends in space, and he can get those running backs as well. He is so big, he can play some sub linebacker for you. And speaking of linebackers on this team, Roquan Smith is a beast. You're extending him long term. He's a guy that you traded for uh, with the Chicago Bears last season. A good linebacker that's going to come in and continue to make those plays for you, especially in the run game. And you also have Patrick Queen playing alongside of him. You selected Patrick Queen in the first round a couple years ago. Hasn't become that star that you were hoping that he was going to be, but him playing alongside Roquan Smith, he could be that. You have two very fast physical middle linebackers those guys got to play up to speed and i believe they can control the line of scrimmage 
The defensive line is very big and very solid, especially with Micah Pierce being at the defensive tackle position. It's going to be hard to run the football against the Ravens. And their secondary is still so solid with Marcus Williams at the free safety position and also having Marlon Humphrey at the cornerback position. I like everything that the Ravens have done this offseason, but this is a team that is expecting the Super Bowl. This is a Super Bowl of bust type of season for the Baltimore Ravens. You have good running backs in J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. J.K. Dobbins, when he's on the field, he's a very good slept on running back, and he's a guy that can give you a lot of production. Last season, he gave you 520 yards, two touchdowns, and six yards a carry. And you're splitting carries between him and Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards is also a good running back as well. He averaged five yards a carry. So this is a Baltimore Ravens team that wants to run the football. And we know they're one of the best rushing units in all of football the last couple of years. Half that is because of Lamar Jackson as well. But upgrade those passing concepts. I believe they will since Greg Roman is no longer the offensive coordinator. Let me know in the comment section below. How you feel about the Baltimore Ravens? Do you think this is a team that's going to make a deep playoff run? Do you think they'll fizzle out? If Lamar Jackson can't stay healthy, that's going to be a bad thing for this Baltimore Ravens team. You did give T Tyler Huntley that restricted phrase, he tender, and he did sign that. So he'll be back with this team as well. He's a good backup to have. But all of this comes down to Lamar Jackson, if he can stay healthy and can he perform to standards. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, you want each and the last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.